Welcome to my floor, where I'm going to be updating my storage for all my photo and video files. Now, currently, I use the WD Personal Clouds, My Clouds, whatever they're called. I have one for video, one for photo. This photo one has died, which meant I had to do some updates. And that brings us to Synology. So let's get this unboxed and set up and talk about how I'm going to use it. set it up. I had to put a hard drive in here. You didn't you didn't see that part. Alright, so now I'm at the computer. So in my browser I am going to go to http find.synology.com. It's currently searching for the Synology device. And there we go. It has been found. Connect. I have read the terms because we all do that. Next Installing the Disk Station Manager. All data on hard disk one will be removed during this installation. There's nothing on it, it's a brand new hard drive. 10 minutes, we'll be back. All right, so I started filming this video like a month ago. The little bits of setup of this NAS system, they were literally filmed a month ago. And I am now probably showing off my watch tan. So I'm gonna put that back on. Now the watch is on. Now while this was not hard to actually set up, there were a couple of things that I had to work through in terms of the amount of data, getting that uploaded onto the NAS from my other hard drives, downloaded from Dropbox, all of those things. So I wanna talk about those here, how I now have it set up, and actually walk through a use case of uploading some data and files to that NAS system. So right when I got the NAS system, I started with two of these. So this is the hard drives that I went with. These are the Seagate six terabyte. These are internal drives, Iron Wolf. I don't know all of the details, but this is what I went with. I went with two of these. And by setting that up in the Synology RAID system, that meant that I really had six terabytes of space, a little less because it uses some for kind of the you know, the normal stuff, you don't get the full storage of every hard drive. The issue is I thought I had about four and a half, five terabytes of information. I actually have about six and a half terabytes of information. So I needed another one of these. So I ordered a third, have added that in. I now have a much larger amount of data that I have to play with and room to grow as well. So I can get a fourth one of these and expand my storage even more. Because again, what I bought was a four drive Synology NAS system. So then became time to get everything uploaded and processed. And for me, I had most of my stuff on Dropbox, had some things on external hard drives. And what I've decided to do is expand my Dropbox storage to their business account to enable the unlimited amount of data there so that I can continue to use that as my cloud storage backup, access that when I need to if I'm out in the world somewhere and for some reason can't access my NAS. They're syncing and staying 100% up to date between the Dropbox folders and the NAS system here in my office. So if anything goes wrong on one end or the other, I will have duplicates ready to go. Now, as you all know, on this channel, I use the iPad. It is my main computing device. It's what I do all of my video and photo editing on. It's where I process all of my files. So I needed this system to work with my iPad, be able to access the files, upload files, download files, manage the files, all of the files here on the iPad. So I'm gonna jump in. I just got back from a trip. I went up to the Upper Peninsula in Michigan, and while it was not a photography trip, I definitely took some photos, so I'll probably edit a couple of those and share them here for you. Make sure and follow me over on Instagram so you can see the completed edits, and make sure and give those photos a like. Definitely appreciate 
all the support over on Instagram. But now I need to process those files, those photos, and some video files from that trip because I did a couple of video things for my other channel with my wife, some of our travels over on Rivet and Roll. I'll link that channel up here for you. And let's go ahead and jump in. So the first thing that I've decided to do, and this is my workflow that I've adjusted a little bit. So now that I have the SD card in the Anchor Hub, I am going to go into the native Apple Photos app. I'm gonna go to that device, see the untitled SD card. And in this case, I know that I started with a clean SD card all the way in at the beginning of this trip. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all, but first I'm gonna change import into a new album. So in this case, it was the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, create a new album and import all. So that's gonna take a minute to import onto the iPad itself, and then we'll come back in a second. Okay, so now that the video files have imported into photos, I can now go over to the Synology Drive app. Now I have a couple of different folders here. I'm gonna go into Rivet and Roll season one. I'm gonna create a new folder. You're getting a sneak peek of some episodes to come, but this is going to be Michigan. And here I'm going to create a new folder. And you can see I'm editing the files and file management on the NAS system right here from this app on the iPad. And this is where I'm able to upload, access files that are on there and download them, move things around if I need to. And so I'm gonna do original Osmo. And that just lets me know those are the Osmo video files. So I'll go in there and now when I click here, I go to upload from albums. When I click into albums, I will be able to click the UP of Michigan. Now I can select all of these files. And hit add. Now what's great about this is it's going to start uploading these over my Wi Fi connection here at the house. So this is something that will be a little faster here at home if I'm out in the world somewhere on a cafe Wi-Fi, or maybe I'm connected to the internet through my phone. If I'm really out there somewhere, this may take a little longer, but this is something that will continue to work elsewhere as well as here at the house. So as you can see, some files are already uploading there. You can also go back in all the way and under tasks, you can see what tasks are currently happening and what files are being uploaded. So now it is another waiting game just to see the files kind of upload to the NAS system again from the iPad. All right, so now that those are all uploaded to the NAS, I'm gonna jump over to Dropbox and I'll show you those are probably, if I go into Michigan, I now have the original Osmo folder and you can see those files are there. They're probably still uploading. I only have 21 here at the moment as those are still uploading into the cloud, but I now have them in two spots and I have the redundancy of the Synology. Now, keep that in mind. The Synology is not a backup. It is a redundancy. So you don't have two copies, but it is able to rebuild things if one hard drive fails, which definitely can happen. So Make sure you still have them backed up in at least one other location, if not a third. Just make sure you have your files safe and sound in case anything happens. What's great is I now have all of those files here on the iPad ready for me to be able to use. I can use those in LumaFusion for video editing. I can move them into Lightroom, Photoshop, Darkroom on the photo editing side and really, again, utilize the iPad as my main creative production device with access to all of my files and everything I really need. Now, when I am back here at the office and I have my laptop or I'm on my phone even, I still have access to all of these files because it is a network attached storage. So I can always connect in. I can do that through my Finder files on the MacBook, or I can do that through the same, the same app that is on the iPad is also on the iPhone. So I can access all of my files that way. And so far I 
Definitely recommend this. This has given me so much more security in my files and a pretty easy workflow. I've done a couple of iPad workflow videos here on the channel and every time that data backup experience is a little bit different and I hope that this is that next step in terms of more of a professional workflow and a unique way of using your iPad and a network attached storage even though most of the videos here on YouTube are from a computer, either a Windows or Apple desktop. But let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. I will try and answer as many as I can. I am relatively new to this. This is me getting everything set up and going, so I may not have all of the answers, but let me know what you think. Until next time, I'm gonna go make some photos. I hope you do too.